What's up? Today is May 25th, 2013. This is raw flow number two. Um, and the theme is um, heart as your barometer and brain as servant of that which heart is called to. I just wrote a journal entry on it. Choose forgiveness for all humanity. To live life loved, to live a full, holy, holy existence, to enjoy a marriage of all persons manifesting particularly in this sea of divisionless unity. A fierce, courageous, and compassionate spirit of forgivingness must be embodied. To wholly abide in every room in the psyche's home gracefully, one must give the whole self over to grace's womb, the universe. The devil and God make sacred love. Every tiny spot of every compartment in the psyche is drenched and drowned in extricable isness. A redemptive entanglement, no matter what free will chooses or proposes. Some opinions are in tune with what is. I boldly declare all life and all creatures to be forcefully bonded in interdependence till the end of infinity. All intellectual knowing stems from and ends at the one inextricably linked substance. Life. A source ultimately eluding a fixed definition is the essence, the basic property of all suchness, isness, beingness, somethingness. Science wonderfully illuminates how specific processes work and unfold, and science has its limits. We get to uh, extent of knowledge, an intellectual drop-off cliff where unfactual faith and felt knowing and intuition take up the torch. Scary? Yeah. Exciting? Hell yeah! <clears throat> so, I propose that you accept who you are and who you are not. Unless you never want to be content with who you are and what you have. When I've changed the way I look at myself, at others, at family, at reality, at career, at society, at capitalism, the things and the people and the systems and the institutions change. Because to a large extent, my perspective is creating how the world occurs to me. So, spirit, heart, matter, science, meet each other. And thus begins a wonderfully dramatic friendship, full of interesting conversation and sacred dance. Always a new perspective to create and embody and share. Infinite babies and bottomless exploration and wonderful wonder and awesome amazingness and trials and suffering and tribulations and tension and terrible joy. All intellectual submersion occurs in a vacuum where Things, people, creatures, roles, definitions are given by their likeness to and differentiation from. Poles sexing meaningfully. Poles sexing meaningful electricity back and forth. This we call the dance of life, 
ascending in negativity and descending in positivity. Oneness loving its distinctions on the surface, also feeling recognition of ultimate divisionlessness at essence. Balance. Grace stumbling equals humans being. Both one and distinct, and more beyond. A state of consciousness does not dissipate, rule out, nullify, supersede, or supplant other higher or lower states of consciousness. Each state of awareness is like an infinite myriad of hands on a huge cosmic elephant. Each hand, even, will report a specific particularity of irrefutable truth and value back to community. And no one is lying. There are three sides to every story. Your side, my side, and the truth. And no one is lying. Having existence occur to me as sacred is the goal of extreme integration. A unified whole. Seeing that all is separated by zero space. Unlove is done. It's obvious that all is one. We are both particular persons and the universal self. This makes marriage beautiful. Free will can choose to give self to what is and to what is not. Extraordinary. Extraordinary self-givingness is like a bee that follows its whole heart from dawn till dusk, making love to every soulmate flower it crosses and cross-pollinates, therefore proliferating creative light by simply acquiescing to its sublime design. Life wants to live! The flowers, go, the flowers grow and proliferate because the bee flies after having made love to its soulmate flower. Choose oneness, choose what you are, and by default, light is spread. Creation is co-created by creatures creating creation. And this is the pollen path. Hive mind. The circle of interdependence gives us who we particularly be. Heart is the queen barometer, and the brain, the powerful little brother bee servant. Neither heart nor brain can fulfill destiny without acknowledging that ultimately they are nothing without one another. From surface to core, soar! Heart is the entrance into this world, and brain freely chooses how to cultivate and what to do with life given. This could be life lived as play, as fun, as spontaneous, vulnerable. Now, out there, play and love make. Dream, dream big dreams, and do, 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 create and actualize. So, in the end, bliss won't leave you alone. Although we're stumbling, we'll rise as unity will know no matter what your abyss is grace and it's our place. Home. So stumble and be peace. Peace.